Hey guys, what's up? I don't think we actually talked about any specific theme for this week. We've all been really busy with holiday stuff, and with personal stuff, and with work stuff. It's just been kind of crazy lately for all of us, so I'm just going to kind of wing it. About a week ago, I threw out my back, and also yesterday I turned 32 years old. It's kind of weird to think about the fact that five years ago I was working on my first Wizard Rock album, and I was 27 years old at the time. I remember my friends saying, uh, Matt, you're 27 years old, do you really want to be making music about Harry Potter and hanging out with teenagers? My response was yes. <laughs> I'm not one of those people who really holds it against people for being younger than me. Let's face it, most Wizard Rock fans are ahead of the curve in terms of intelligence. But regardless, I was 27 five years ago, I'm 32 now. That whole, you know, time flies by thing definitely applies to my 20s because I feel like that decade kind of whipped by pretty quickly. It was gone before I really knew it. I did have this sense around that time in my life that life was moving very quickly and it had sort of accelerated as I got older. Um, you know, when you think back to when you're eight or nine years old, a year is a really long thing when you're a kid. As you get older, that sense kind of goes away, and it becomes the opposite sensation, where, you know, you wake up one day and you're 28, and it feels like just yesterday you were 24. So one of the interesting effects that Wizard Rock has had, especially touring, uh, my days seem long again. You know, I wake up 8 o'clock in the morning, I get ready to go, I encourage my tour mates to get ready to go, then we're on the road for like 4 or 5 hours, then we get to a show, we set up, then we play a show, then we hang out with people after the show, we might drive for a couple more hours to get closer to the next city, maybe we're lucky if we sleep five hours that night, and the next day we do it all over again. That's a long, long day, and to have like 120, 130 of those days in one year, it stretches it out, which is awesome. But I guess the, the major point of this vlog isn't so much that I'm 32 now and that my life is going one way or the other. It's just that now that I'm 32, I'm finding myself susceptible to things that I've never been susceptible to before. And one of those things is throwing out my back and taking about a week to recover. Patrick posted um, a vlog sort of updating you guys on his weight loss efforts on Thursday. If you haven't seen it, I commented a couple times and we went back and forth talking about how we're both kind of at the same place in terms of dieting, exercise, weight loss stuff. The fact that we're at the same place is almost a motivating factor for us to sort of work on it at the same time. So between that and throwing out my back and spending a week in serious pain and limited mobility, I am sort of getting back into the idea that I should be exercising every day and being a little more conscious of what I'm eating. So I decided to spend a little money, and when I say little, I mean like 20 bucks, and I got myself some resistance bands. When I was 20, I was in a car accident, and I almost died, and my friend almost died. It was crazy, and I broke my femur. I went through like two and a half, three months of physical therapy to get better, and one of the things that I was doing was uh, working out with these bands. And it was weird, you know, because I wasn't walking around as well as I could because I had to walk around with a cane for months. But because of all the crazy resistance training that I was doing, I actually ended up in the best shape of my life, probably about like four months after that accident. This week, I would really like you guys to tell me in the comments about some sort of age-related obstacle that you have to deal with whether it's you're too young to do something that you would really like to do and that you feel like you could handle doing, or if you're like me and you're starting to feel the effects of being whatever age that you are, tell me about an age-related obstacle in the comments. Have a good day.